You handled that well, Garrod. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. Hear my words, and bear witness to my vow. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. It shall not end until my death. I shall take no wife, hold no lands, father no children. I shall wear no crowns, and win no glory. I shall live and die at my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch for this night and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. Out of the watch now. It means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Don't forget the practice shot. Uncle Duncan! Garrett, it's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. I've missed you, Uncle. I never expected to see you here. A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it, then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. The gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling I am wrath. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I've found the answer. He 
describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. What do you think, Uncle? Is it real? I have no doubt. It's clear Lord Forrester spent a great deal of time studying the North Grove. He speaks of it as if he'd seen it himself. Somewhere on the other side of the wall. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a Tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. It can't be too hard to get north of the wall. I'm sure there's a way. As a ranger, that shouldn't be a problem. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind, and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. I agree, Uncle. But how? A brave answer, Garrett. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. I used to be frightened of wherewood trees. But before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear them whispering sometimes. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... Look. There's a clasp. It must open. No idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Hmm. Well, that doesn't look right. Maybe try another. map that has to turn. Aye. The werewood's mouth. Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here. Take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. You can tell everyone back at Ironrath that Garrett Tuttle has taken up the cause. Your sense of honor is a quality I've long admired, Garrett. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett! I don't know. Probably like little, little shards or something. Wait, so... 
Like a weapon? Well, your piss is like any other lick. Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He happened to be nearby. Thought he'd say hello. This is about the last place anyone would want to visit. It looked like he gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. We've certainly come a long way, haven't we? I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. What are you doing here? Oh no, I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. Look, that night, I don't know what might have happened if you hadn't helped me. I could say the same to you, Lady Mira. But I came here to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about. Shh! They already know he's missing, probably dead. They're questioning people, searching for his body. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? If we're going to survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. There was another Lannister guard. He saw me with him in the garden. Oh, oh no. You need to keep your head down. Stay out of sight for a while. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still someone out there who saw you with a dead man. And I don't... Mira! My lady, 